Which is more dangerous? A mismanagement of a crisis or taking the time to change the people who are managing the crisis? The We Charity scandal clinging to the Liberals no matter what they do to shake it. And the Bloc Québécois leader ratcheting up the pressure, threatening an election if key players Justin Trudeau, his chief of staff Katie Telford and Finance Minister Bill Morneau don't resign. The question becomes, which is worse, keeping them and this government in place or creating a temporary distortion in the management of the crisis in going into an election. Trudeau's Liberals have been under fire over a decision to award the WE Charity a $900 million student volunteer program, a decision that is being investigated by two separate Commons committees. And now questions are being raised about the contract for small business relief that went to a company employing Trudeau's Chief of Staff, Katie Telford's husband, Rob Silver. Neither the Prime Minister or Finance Minister will say if they communicated with Silver before he became Senior Vice President of a private mortgage company running the program. In both of these scandals, what we're seeing is liberals helping themselves instead of helping people. While people are worried about what's going to happen when CERB ends in August, the liberal government seems to be too busy helping themselves. Anger spilled over at a rare summer sitting of parliament on Wednesday, one that the prime minister was absent from. Can the person auditioning for the role of prime minister today please tell us why the prime minister picked today if he wasn't going to show up. The Prime Minister was at committee to ensure that answers were given to committee members directly. Finance Minister Bill Morneau attended the Parliament sitting remotely, but that didn't keep from the calls to resign. When will the Prime Minister finally put the Finance Minister out of his misery? We will continue to have our focus, as we have over the course of this pandemic, on Canadians, on the work that needs to be done. Blanchette says he hasn't spoken with any opposition parties to see if there's enough support to bring down the government. The Liberals would need the support of at least one party to stay alive. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.